Oh no, Apple is tanking. The entire Nasdaq is tanking. Do you know what's going to happen to the entire stock market or crypto next? Because Apple, as we all know, is the largest stock in the United States and in the world. It's the largest component stock of the SP500 and the Nasdaq and the SP500. So if Apple goes down due to China government iPhone ban, what do you think happens next? See, this latest iPhone ban by the China government is actually just the latest move in a long going, long game between China and the US in the new tech wars. See, what happened previously is that US banned chip sanctions, banned chips going into China. The high level chips from Qualcomm has all been banned. That means China can't produce its own smartphones, the high top grade ones anyway. See, in early 2020, Huawei was actually almost the number one smartphone seller in the world, almost catching up to Samsung and already pulling ahead of Apple. But the US government tried to stop Huawei by doing two very important things. One is to ban all exports, all exports of semiconductor chips to Huawei or China, which is obviously needed if you're gonna make a top of the line smartphone. And two, it banned Google, it banned Google from letting Huawei or other Chinese phones use the iOS, oh, sorry, the Android, the Android system, operating system. So even if you could produce the phone, you won't have the software to run it. And those policies were very effective against those Chinese phones. So by today, first quarter of 2023, we see it's Samsung still leading, Apple number two, and then basically Huawei is nowhere to be seen in the top five. It's dropped out of the top five or top six list. But of course, Huawei breaks through those sanctions and chip bans with their own 5G phone, right? The new Mate 60 actually can make satellite calls. Hmm. And you probably only heard about this the last day or two, but way before then, on August the 30th, Pablo was telling everybody in my Discord that the iPhone, China is the number one market for iPhones, right? But iPhone is probably gonna be in trouble this time because Huawei is launching, is back. Huawei is back launching their own 5G cell phone, right? So. Pablo knew the news five days before it happened. That's because most folks are trying to make their investment decision by just listening to what their media tells them, right? Now, I'm no media expert, but I told my folks, my Discord, five days before everyone else reported on Huawei that Huawei was back with a new phone. So now Apple and iPhone have some stiff competition and both the iPhone 15 and the Huawei Mate 60 Pro will both launch in China on Tuesday. What happens next? Follow Pablo for more news ahead of the time.